How does one become a billionaire? Dude, it's so easy. All you gotta do is like invent something that everyone's gonna use, like the uh, Auto Itch Fixer 5000. Just put on the neuron sensing headband and it will tell the scratcher when and where you have an itch. You could itch it yourself, but come on now. Ain't nobody got time for that. Or you could take the more conventional approach like steel business tycoon Andrew Carnegie. Well, by using some of Carnegie's greatest quotes as a centerpiece, in this three-part series, we'll learn not only the deep stories behind what he said and why he said them, but also the life of Andrew Carnegie. Hey quoters, and welcome to Stories Behind the Quotes. Changing lives, one quote at a time. So Andrew Carnegie, despite ending up as a multimillionaire by the late 1800s, had to work from the bottom up. The bottom up, is that a bar or something? Meaning he worked his way up from manual labor in a cotton factory to establishing a highly successful business. But the million dollar question, literally, is how did he get from A to B? Besides reciting the alphabet. A, B, wait. I'm already at B. This is the easiest million dollars I ever made. Well, in his autobiography, Andrew gives a lot of advice to the young and business-minded. But what stood out to me was, it is a great mistake not to seize the opportunity. In my opinion, this was the key to Carnegie's fortune. No matter what his line of work was, he saw opportunity everywhere. When he was a messenger boy for the telegraph office, he asked one of the telegraph operators to teach him the skill, eventually becoming an operator himself. When he worked for the Pennsylvania Railroad Company, he relayed train orders that he was not authorized to do. But he did it right and continued up the corporate ladder. Ooh, a company ladder. <laughs> what does it say right here? The ladder to failure. Oh crap, so, someone take this ladder, please. He also organized a company to build iron bridges and eventually produce steel both of which were ahead of their time. When he saw opportunity, he took it. Precious. This along with other business practices, such as doing what others wouldn't, focusing on quality, and always accommodating customers, led Carnegie and his partners to wild success. Of course, not without their low times as well, such as the Homestead Strike of 1892, a 143-day labor dispute that left 16 men dead and many wounded. This was for Carnegie what hurt him more than anything else in his entire business career. Okay, so looking back at Andrew's quote, I think that it's a challenge that we all should accept. Oftentimes, opportunity can be shrouded in risk and the unknown, but from what I've noticed from highly successful people is that they take the risk, something that those who just settle in life won't dare do. Every opportunity, with some sound reason, is a chance to take you where you want to be. However, if you're content with where you are in life, then you don't have to worry about this. On the other hand, I believe that many of you, myself included, want to push yourselves to the limits, discovering your own limitations, if you have any. You hear that? Dangerous afoot. Time to reveal my Superman costume. <laughs> oh, oh no, I forgot my costume. Shoot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry everybody, you're on your own. I can't fight evil like this. So let us get on that journey together and see what we're truly capable of. It is a great mistake not to seize the opportunity. And last but not least is today's quote question, which is, how do you plan to seize future opportunities? I.e., will you go for it even though it may seem risky or make you feel uncomfortable? Let me know in the comment section Below. Hey quoters, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Now if you want to check out part three once it's been uploaded, all you gotta do is click in this box right here. And if you missed part one, all you have to do is click in this box right here. And for all you mobile users out there, the video links will be available in the description below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.